having had a cardiac arrest and having had a heart disease my whole life, uh, I'm just, and I, I hate in a way making the comparison because it sounds that I don't care about cancer, which I do, you know, it's a horrible disease, but mm -hmm. You know, heart disease is the number one killer for both men and women. And correct me if I'm wrong, right? I just feel... No, that's right. Yeah, Wor worldwide. That's important to say worldwide yeah. as well. Yeah, I just feel that there's so little awareness around heart disease. There are so little campaigns compared to cancer. And the same with cardiac arrest. If I tell people that I had a cardiac arrest, most people think I had a heart attack. Like, they don't know the difference like i told this to someone recently and she was like oh did you call the ambulance i was like well, well no i was well i was dead on the floor so i couldn't do much <laughs> yeah um can't really and, do that yeah and i just wanted to hear your opinion on this is is this maybe just in belgium or is this a, a thing in the us too uh or is there a reason that you think of why there might be or might why it might seem that there's less awareness around heart disease and cardiac arrest compared to cancer? I think with cancer, it just sounds so much more scary. And a lot of the yeah. times it happens to people who are a lot, you know, it happens earlier in life as well. And so mm -hmm. I think people will kind of gravitate towards those important factors. One thing that we started noticing is that, you know, the awareness for heart disease in men in the United States is pretty high. So everyone kind of knows that that's something that men were suffering for. But for women, there's still been this lag of education is that, you know, it's like you said, it's the number one killer for both men and women. But if you talk to a lot of women, they're actually more worried or they're kind of conditioned to worry more about breast cancer compared yeah. to heart disease. And yeah. so we're still trying to work on that lag to kind of move everybody up to, to this century to know like, hey, this is affecting everybody equally. And so yeah. knowing the sign, knowing the symptoms, knowing when you should get checked, we're still not doing that great of a job when it comes to that. And I think particularly with women, a lot of the literature and a lot of the scientific studies that we use, if you look at the participants, most of them are men. And so there's a lot of information that we just don't have about women. So there really hasn't been a focus. And so I think the United States, we're doing a little bit more. But yeah, I agree with you. I think worldwide, we're not we're not talking about that nowhere near enough. And now that we have so many medical advances where people are going to be living a lot longer, we're going to be seeing heart disease more. We're more sedentary. We're eating, you know, probably the worst than we ever have in human history. And so this is going to be something that we're going to continue to see the numbers increase unless we do something about it. And so we have to start off with education with our children in school. You know, our young adults, everyone needs to be educated on this for sure. Yeah. And I guess, like you said, um, I mean, if you would make a movie about a cancer patient and someone who had a cardiac arrest, it's more horrific, the story, the, like that movie with a cancer patient, like that process, mm -hmm. right, than someone who has a cardiac arrest because the movie would just end. <laughs> and I mean, okay, mm -hmm. unless they survived, right? Um, well, yeah, I was going to say. We got <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I will say this, though. Um, I don't know if you if you saw, you know, we had an American football player recently that had a cardiac arrest um, yeah. during during a football game. And um, that woke a lot of people up. And so my DMs were flooded with questions because, like you said, people had never heard about this before. And they're just like, how is this young, healthy guy mm -hmm. in the peak of his career, the peak of his performance? How is he, you know, dying on the field? And so, yeah. Like you said, it's unfortunate that happened to him, but I do think that that opened up a lot of eyes and it's allowing us to have conversations like this. So kudos to you, first of all, for doing this because this you're you're helping us combat this. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and especially because I am a younger person, I also try to have some younger people on the podcast because just to show uh, that there are young people where this happens to as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Cardiac arrest can happen to anyone, uh, sadly enough, just mm -hmm. like cancer, of course.